What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Trick Room team right here. And guys, I am so hyped for this Trick Room team, considering we have a crawl on, on this team. And this thing looks amazing. I will get to him in a second. But if you are hyped for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who has supported the channel. On this team right here, we obviously, you can see, Belly Jumps Snorlax in the top left corner. He can come up big. You guys know how much work he can do once you get that Belly Jump set up. We also have this Indeedee as our Follow Me Pokemon. This Hatterene as our Trick Room Pokemon with Magic Bounce and a Wiki Berry as its item. Then we have our three Pokemon who are going to thrive under this Trick Room. We have the Apple Ton in the bottom right corner with Apple Acid for Stab. Same thing with Dragon Pulse. Reflect actually help us eat up some of the physical attack damage and recycle so we get that berry once again. He's holding the Citrus Berry with Ripen as its ability. We have this Vicavolt. Vicavolt's going to be an absolute beast. Has an Assault Vest. We can soak up some special attack moves with T-Bolt, Bug Buzz, and Volt Switch all for sad moves. And Volt Switch can be used as a pivot move as well. And Flash Cannon for our coverage move. Has Levitate. We're not getting hit by ground moves, my dude. Then in the final spot is this Crawdon. Guys, I am so hyped for this Crawdon. It has Life Orb, Crab Hammer, Knock Off, Close combat and protect and its ability is adaptability and if you guys do not know what that does instead of stab damages doing 1.5% times the damage it does now double the damage so if you guys do not know what stab moves is it is same moves than it's typing so like any water or dark moves for crawled on so the crab hammer or knockoff is going to be double damage and then the life orb on top on top of this is going to be able to make this thing merc on anything. But guys, if you want to use the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day, who is your favorite Trick Room Pokemon? My favorite Trick Room Pokemon is probably Vicavolt, but I think Crawlon's going to change my mind here because I cannot wait to just dump on Pokemon with adaptability and life orb damage. It is going to be awesome. But guys, without further ado, let's hop onto the ranked double ladder with this Crawlon team. Going up a standard Whimsicott team right here. This guy is Gyarados, Whimsicott, Dragapult, Gardevoir. Arcanine and Corviknight. I'm surprised Arcanine. This might be the, one of the first Arcanines I've seen since Incineroar has been in the game. Like, Incineroar is just so much better than Arcanine, and he does whatever Arcanine can do 10 times better, but we're gonna get started here with our Indeedee Hatterene, trying to get that Trick Room set up, and then I think we're gonna go Vicavolt Crawdon for our Trick Room Pokemon. I think that's the play. I believe Crawdon has no speed in him. Let me see. Let me see. Let me give a quick peek at him. Yeah, see, look at that. Attack HP. This thing's an absolute beast 189 attack stat with that life orb and adaptability i read that ability i was like are you serious double stab damage that is insane he's gonna be able to hit like a truck but guys if you want to catch more content from me head in the link in the description below you guys already know the i say this every video go check out my twitch page jeans 25 on twitch come hang out hang out with me i would love to see you guys there seriously you guys haven't checked me out yet what are you guys doing get over there get over there right now <laughs> actually not right now watch this video and then get over there but he goes Gyarados, Arcanine. We'll be able to get this Trick Room set up just fine. Just fine, my dudes. Yeah, not taking out my DD. We'll go for Follow Me, set up that Trick Room, and then we'll get rolling from there. I wonder what he's going to do. Is that Intimidate? Is this a double Intimidate? Is that double Intimidate? Let me see that. It's got to be. No, it's not. It's just Single Intimidate. Single Intimidate. This thing has to be Flash Fire, then, I'm guessing. Yo, Battlefield is... Field has gotten weird from the psychic surge. We just go into this nice little follow me and get this trick room set up nice and easy. I wish there was more ways to counter this. I feel like trick room is so easy to set up. In this game, you just go follow me, trick room, and most of the time it works. Like a good above 80% rate that thing works. You just have to have the certain team that can go through the follow me's that can maybe take out the indeed one hit and they get a shot off on the Hatterene. But like most of the time, it's just like follow me, trick room always works. You get your trick room set up and then you can roll out from there. But like they're you just have to, I feel like you just have to be smart about it. I feel like that's how, like, Imprison Trick Room kind of came into effect. And now you can just Imprison Trick Room and not even worry about the follow me. But I guess there's plenty of ways, but let's let's get rolling here. He Dynamaxes. Who's he Dynamaxing here? I have a guess. Maybe the Arcanine? Maybe the Arcanine? If it has that moveset that I'm thinking of? Nope. Rocking out with the Gyarados. What's the Gyarados going to go for? Maybe set the rain, get going from there? I'm fine with it. I'm totally fine with it. I'll have my Vicable and crawled on it in the back end and be able to just run some things. We're going to be running with those dudes. Follow me, Pops here. Get over here, yo. Don't touch my Hatterene. Don't touch my Hatterene. What you want? He goes for the Flare Blitz. That's totally fine. Take some recoil damage there. You're not taking out my NDD. There we go. NDD eats it. And then the what's called the Gyarados will be able to take out the 
in needy, which is totally fine. I could just go Vicar Bolt and do some big damage on it. That's totally fine. We have the Trick Room set up, guys. We have the Trick Room set up, but like, who do I want to go? That is the real question. Actually, I'm just going to go crawl on and dump on the Arcanine. I'm just going to crawl on and dump on that Arcanine. That thing's a Moxie Gyarados. Okay, so the Intimidate came from the Arcanine. I thought the Intimidate came from the Gyarados. Trick Room pops here. This thing is Moxied up. He's Moxied up. We kind of have to take him out. Like, we kind of have to take him out. Hmm. How should I do this? How should I do this? Like, I really just want to go here. But then I also want to go here. But then he's super effective at me. Kind of scary. Kind of scary. Okay, um, bum, 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 bum. Should we just go crawl on? Crawl on's an absolute beast. Yeah, I'm going crawl on. This thing's going to be able to hit like a truck. Going to be able to hit like a truck. So let's go here. I'm just going to Dynamax crawl on. He's going to go after my Hatterene, which is totally fine. Hatterene already did her job. Do I Dynamax this thing? I say we save it. I say we just dump on the Arcanine there. And then we just go into a nice little Psychic. Try to lower this thing's special defense. Because Arcanine's gone. Arcanine is gone unless he protects. This Crawdon is going to hit him like a truck. And he has Crab Hammer. His signature move, dude. Crab Hammer. Extreme Speed pops up. Pretty smart, but we're protected by the uh, Psychic Terrain. Which sinks for you, dude. Nice damage from that Hatterene. Hatterene does some big damage here. Crab Hammer's going to pop through. Yeah, yeet. See you later, Arcanine. What is it? So it's base 90, so stab, double up to 18, what is that, 180? Why did I say 18? I was going to say 1800. The double would be, oh my god, this thing is overgrown. Bruh. Oh, you gotta take me out. He takes me out. No, my Crawdon. My Crawdon. I thought he was going to go after my Hatterene. That stinks, dude. I seriously thought he was going to go after my Hatterene. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're still chilling here. I saw my d -Max. I still think we kind of have this one in the bag. To be honest. But our Crawdon got a kill. Like I was saying, he it's double damage, so it's base 90. Goes to base 180, plus that life orb for times 1.3. So that's big damage. That is almost base 200 damage. In the rain as well. In the rain. That is huge. That is huge. A boy Crawdon. But still, I wish we still had him here. That would have been huge. But we have a Vicar Bolt. Vicar Bolt's going to be able to do some work. And it's a Corviknight. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. I'm going to be able to actually... I'm going to Dynamax and go for Max Lightning. I take out this Gyarados here and then just roll into a nice little mystical fire. Actually, it won't do as much in the rain. But I think mm, Psychic won't do it that much either. Eh, I guess we'll just go mystical fire. I guess we'll just go mystical fire. All of them are just like not very effective. I'm like, bruh. Maybe I should have doubled in the Gyarados, but I think this one uh, Max Lightning should be able to take it out. We should, we will go first as well because Vicar Bolt's rather slow, which always used to throw me off because Vicar Bolt just looks like such a speedy Pokemon, but he's just a perfect tricky Pokemon. He's one of my favorite tricky Pokemon. For sure, for sure. Just look how cool he looks. He's such a cool looking Pokemon. Here we go. We're gonna go first. We're gonna drop a nice little mystical fire. Do a little bit of damage, but the rain's gonna neglect some of it. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. It was a crit. That's why. It was a crit. But mirror armor's gonna pop. We're gonna lower our special defense, but or special attack. That kind of stinks. This thing has mirror armor. Next lightning flies through. Bye, Gyarados. See you later. See you later, dog. Gyarados is out of here. Not too worried about this Corviknight. Now this goes down to a 2v2 situation. It's just Corviknight might be rolling into an Iron Head. Which could be scary. Which I think my Hatterene could eat, trigger that Weaky Berry, and then get rolling from there. Let's see what happens. The Iron Head in it? It's Iron Defensing. We are both special attackers, dude. That is doing nothing for you. Absolutely nothing. And he has leftovers. And he is leftovers. But now he's going to go into his... Fourth and final mon. I know we can dump on the Corviknight. It really depends what Pokemon this is. And we have the speed advantage in this trick room. I just wish we had my crawl on my dude. It is a Gardevoir. Okay. I, I think I think we're just chilling just fine. He's gonna trace our magic bounds. That's fine. We have this electric terrain set up as well. I'm just going to a max lightning here. Take out this Corviknight. And go into a nice little bump bump bump. I have of course nothing is very really effective, but we'll go into the so what's called the dazzling gleam to do a little bit of damage to the Gardevoir and a little bit of damage to the Corviknight as well. Let's go. Let's go. Max Lightning's gonna pop here. Bye bye, Corvo. Your iron defense is poo poo here. Boop. See you later, buddy. I know I oh, get another crit. I know I always like dog on trickering teams, but I actually love trickering teams. I actually love them. But the only reason I, I like get annoyed by them is because they're just all over the meta. They're just all over the meta, and everybody uses uses it. So when I try to use a different team, it's annoying because everyone is still using a Trick Room team. But look how easy Vicar Bolt eats that up. 
he eats that off like crazy considering we have that assault vest and now our coverage steel move is going to actually finish off this match and win us the game pick a vault mvp this match so wish we had my crawl on man i'll show him off next match though i would definitely show him off next match that's some green comes through does some big damage and steel spike ends us off let's go pick a vault three g max moves three ko's big boy right here big boy the crab hammer just dumps on arcanine that's how it's done Let's get it, guys. Now let's hop into battle number two and try to show off Crawl on this battle. This guy might be rolling out with a G Max Lapras. He has Lapras on his team. I'm thinking it's G Max. That is just so strong in this new season. It is insane. I said that in my last video. We used it a little bit and it was rocking out for us. Just setting up that Aurora Veil and then we were able to roll out. But we're going to go in DD Hatterene once again to get that Trick Room set up. Then we're going to go Crawl on and into Vickable again. Are we going to go same team? Same team could work out here. It could definitely work out because I kind of need something to counter that Lapras. And it has this whole vest. So, yeah, pickable. Let's go, buddy. Same team rolling out here. Let's get this win. Let's get this win. I think he's going to go maybe Whimsicott into Lapras and try to G Max right off the bat, which would be fine by me. I mean, I wish I had like Brick Break or something to be able to take it out, but we do not. I'm hoping he just doesn't bring it at all. I don't feel like dealing with it. It is so strong. And it's so annoying because it'll just set up the Roar Bell. But like, bruh, knock it off. It's just going to, like, neglect some of my damage and win him the game. And it's going to be annoying. Not win him the game. We're going to win this game. We got my boy Crawdon coming up big. We have knockoff as well. So that thing's probably weakness policy. I can always just knock off its weakness policy with it. But he goes Togekiss extra in that front spot. Totally fine by me. Totally fine by me. Indeed, he had a ring fly out here. Might just go for an EQ to be able to do some work. And double. Oh, wait just a minute. This could be scary. I think he might go EQ into... No way. No way he does that. No way he goes EQ into, like, Dazzling Gleam or something. I'm going to still hit that follow me button and go Trick Room. I'm going to go follow me Trick Room. Because I was thinking maybe he goes EQ into, like, Dazzling Gleam and picks up the KO on my head arena. I'd be so mad. But I feel like he's going to go for an Iron Head as a super effective stab. Let's see what happens. EQ. Oh, no. He's doing it. He's doing it. Eat a hat. Okay, yeah. Hatterene eats up all day. Hatterene eats up all day. And doesn't really pop. Yeah. Now, yeah. Your plan not working, my dude. And we both survive. We get this trick room off. See, I thought he was going to do it, but Hatterene's pretty tanky for that. Eats that one up. Like a mystical fire into you. And I'm going to just dazzling gleam. We're just dazzling gleam because just in case that thing is Sash... I think the Mystical Fire should be able to take out that uh, extra drill. And this should be able to take off Sash and do a little bit of damage over on Toki's side. Let's go. Mystical Fire, what you want, boy? What you want, extra drill? Oh, we don't pick up the KO. Get out of my face. Get out of here. Both our Pokemon should go down here. Who oh, has an Eam and another EQ? Let's see. Ooh. He gets a crit on my ADD. Get him out. Get out of here. Getting lucky crits. It's fine. We have this trick room set up. And our Wiki Berry. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Wiki Berry popping. If he goes for an EQ, we should be able to eat it up. Yes, sir. Give me another turn, my dude. Um, how should I roll out here? Did he just get a crit? Did he just crit? No, it just took me out. Okay, never mind. I thought we were going to eat that one up. <laughs> it's fine. We got the boys here. We have the boys. I'm going to D-Max the Crawled on. I'm going to get this Crawled on up and rolling. Thunderbolt over on the Token Kiss. And then we're just going to get rolling from there. Actually, hold up. I got to figure out the speed situation. I have to figure out the speed situation. Because if he goes for a, a follow me and my crawl on goes first, then we're going to have a problem. And my crawl on takes out that Tokus. Actually, there's no need for us to even uh, E-Max here. We can E-Max next turn. Save a turn. Let me see the summary. Let me see the speeds. We got 54 and 63. So my crawl on is going to go first. My crawl on is going to go first. So... If you go for a follow me, it's going to be tough news. If he goes for a follow me, it's going to be tough news. Uh, I could just bug buzz. But I can't go for... I think bug buzz would do more damage and take out that extra drill. So I'm just going to do that. And I'm just going to go for a crab hammer. Just in case this thing follow me. We have to do this. We have to do this. He's going to withdraw the extra. That's totally fine. We're going for a bug buzz in that slot. He's going to throw it him on top, which is totally chilling. Which is totally chilling. Get that intimidate off. I'm fine by it, my dude. I'm still going to be able to hit like a truck with my crawl on. He's going to be able to get a fake out as well. Ooh, you protect him, my dude. He's protecting. We got Bug Buzz coming across. Grab Hammer gets blocked. Now I'm going to definitely D-Max and set the rain. Yo, Bug Buzzing. Yeah, yeet. Get him. 
Get him! There's like nothing on him. There's like nothing. Okay, now we're definitely T-Bolting. Over on Stokus. And do I geyser on the hit my top? You know he's going for a fake out. No, he's going for a fake out. I actually want to go after his hit my top. Let's get him. Let's get this dude. You know, withdraw the Toga Kiss now. And he's going back into the extra drill. Smart little cookie. But that's totally fine. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too too worried here. He's just wasting out trickling trains. The fact. And I, I'm fine with it. I'm hoping this geyser can just dump on this hit my top. But he's just he's legit wasting trick room turns out. And if he could waste him out, he could potentially get the win. I think that's exactly what he's going for. Um so we have I think we have the trick room for I think the rest of our D-Max here, right? Or maybe two two of our D-Max turns here. Hit my top's gonna fake us out. We are protected by the terrain. It's not working, my dude. Max Geyser comes out. Stab. We are minus one on attack, but I still see us doing a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Bye-bye, hit my top. Crawdon is an absolute unit. Big unit, boy. Takes him out. We get this ring going as well. Um, I can just go for a flash cannon into that slot. It really depends who he throws out here. It really does depend who he throws out on that left side. That will determine my moveset. I gotta take a look at how many turns are left in the... Okay, so it goes to kiss that side. You gotta see how many turns is left in Trick Room. We only have one. We only have one. Okay, so I'm just gonna go Flash Cannon over into you. This should be able to take him out. And then a Max Geyser over into the Togekiss. And we can potentially get a double kill and start rolling this match out. Let's see what happens. Togekiss is protecting you. Togekiss, stop it. Can we still get the KO with this Max Geyser? Stab in the rain. Come on, baby. Learn to protect. Show me big damage. No, dude. I, I thought way too much there. <laughs> I only had that happen once, and that was with a Primarina in a Torrent Rain Max Geyser. Absolutely dumped on Axie Drill. Let's go. We, we were able to take that thing out with the Flash Gun. But Trick Room is over it, and he's going to D-Max this next Pokemon. It's rather scary. It's rather scary. I wonder who it is. I wonder who it is. And he might just max guard it. It's the Lapras, dude. It is the Lapras. The Lapras. So I just go for a T-Bolt over on Togekiss. That should take it out. And then a Max Knuckle. Now that might trigger its weakness policy. We could just lower its uh, special defense stat. I think that's our best bet. Lower this thing's special defense. Are you kidding me? This thing's gonna go for G-Max Resonance. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, my dude. Get him out of here. This thing G-Max? It is, bruh. Stop it. There's too many of these things. There are too many G-Max Lapras coming out here. I mean, this is our last turn. Trick. Oh, no. They might have the Trick Room advantage now. Yeah, they do. Dazzling Gleam pops. Oh, my God. This is a big damage on my crawl on. And a crit on my Vicable. Get out of my face. Then go for the Resonance here. Can my Vicable eat? I think Volt does eat, which is wonderful. We should be able to take out the Tokus here. And then get the drop on this thing. Actually, I don't know if we're going to take it out now because of the Roar Bell. This thing's so good. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Come on, take it out, Vigavolt. Do him dirty. Thank you, buddy. Let's go. Take him out. And then we're going to be able to do some damage here. I wonder what that thing's ability is. I do not want to go into my Crab Hammer. Because it's probably a... Uh, it could potentially be a... Uh, a water absorb. We could just be giving them free HP. But we get that special defense drop, which is huge. I'm gonna knock off its item. Actually, it's not even gonna do anything if it is sashed. Because my what's is gonna go before it. My Vic Bolt's gonna go before it. So let's just go for the T Bolt. Let's trigger this. And then go into a close combat. We're gonna double into this thing hard. Let's get him! Do him dirty! He's gonna go for a geyser over on my Volt or my Crawl on. Let's see. Over on my Vic Bolt. Big Volt goes down. No! Oh my lord. I think he has this one. I think he has this one. This is some tough news unless we get like a monster crit. Nah, this thing's too bulky. It's too bulky. That's gonna be game. GG to this guy. Did he have weakness policy? Yeah, he had weakness policy. It's totally fine. Come on, dude. Is anyone else struggling against these Laprases? Like, they are just too good. I'm gonna actually save my crawl up. My boy is not dying here. We're gonna hit that run button and, and give this guy the win. GG, dude. Lapras, like I said, too strong. So good in this season. But, guys, let's hop into match number three and try to go two and one with this team. Hopefully, I can get to show off the Appleton as well.
Third and final battle coming at you guys. If you are hanging out with me, give me a little bit of hashtag Trick Room Squad in the comment section down below. But look at the little sprite of the Shuckle, dude. It's cracking me up. Look at his little eyes on his head. Um, I might just let him set the Trick Room. I might just let him do that and go... Could go Appleton for lead. Could go Appleton. Um, I'm going to go Hatterene Appleton. And then go Crawdon and Vickable. Crawdon and Vickable in the back end. Uh, I do not really need the Indeedee here. If he wants to go for the follow me, set up the Trick Room on his own. I kind of just start getting free attacks in. Because both of their team, teams are going to thrive on this Trick Room. They both are going to thrive. Actually, maybe should have led the Indeedee. Not even go for the follow me. Because he is fake out on his Instant Roar. He has to have fake out on the Instant Roar. Is he leading it? Let's see what happens. Toe Kiss right here. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Actually, follow me. You might just be max. Let's see what happens here. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to go for Dazzling Gleam just to do damage on both ends, but I really want to do work on this Toe Kiss. I mean, I'd rather throw this over on you. And then I'm going to set up a Reflect here. I'm going to set up a Reflect. Is he Dynamaxing my period turn one? Are you Dynamaxing my period turn one? Air Slash going to come through. Not on my Apple Boy. Leave him alone. Leave the Apple Boy alone. EQ, you outspeed both of these guys. Get out of my face, dude. Appleton, eat it up, buddy. Yeah, we eat that one up all day. And we are able to get off a Psychic here. Right Bin's going to pop, give us some mean health. We can recycle next turn, and we will have this uh, Reflect up. It's going to be type nice. Look at that HP, dude. Look at that HP. Huge HP. Reflect gets to popping. Let's go. I'll, I'll recycle next turn all day. And throw another Psychic at this thing. Get it. Do some Doom Dirty. Look at that damage, dude. Big damage right there. Um, we going for Trick Room? I could go for Trick Room. I mean, he's not sending it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to recycle here. Actually, or should I just Apple Acid? No, I'm going to just recycle. I'm going to recycle because if we do get the Trick Room off, I know my Apple Boy will be able to outspeed all day. Oh, he's doubling into me. He's going to take out my Hatterene. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wiki Berry. We got a Wiki Berry up in here. How much HP is that going to give us? Ooh. We might not be able to eat up. Oh, Rock Slide, actually. He's going for the flinches, dude. He's going for the flinches all day. He's probably getting them, which is scary. Appleton does get the recycle off, which is huge. Come on, Hatterene. Get this Trick Room off. No! I was going to say, I love you, Hatterene. Um, I'm just going to go for a Psychic here. And I'm just going to pop a little bit of Apple Acid over on this left side. to take out the right here. But this Reflect is coming up big. Coming up big here. Air Slash going to come here. Probably takes it out. I'm fine with it. I'm totally fine with it. I kind of did want to get this Trick Room set up, but then I'm chilling. Sword Dance, bro, dude, you dead. I'm trying to set up a Sword Dance. Get out of here. Get out of here. You think I'm going to let you survive that long? Apple Acid's going to pop here. Get him. Yeah, ye. No Sword Dance for you. Get that Sword Dance out of here. Um, I wonder what he's going to go for now. It's kind of scary if he doesn't have, if he has that Trick Room. I mean, if he's not rolling Trick Room Pokemon. If he's rolling all that speed, it'll be scary. Here's out with Pre Marina. That's I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Hold on, gets to go. But Fairy is super effective, so I might just swap here and go for another Apple Acid. Actually, I'm gonna protect here. Yeah, I'm gonna protect, and I'm gonna drop a nice little Apple Acid over on the Pre Marina. Get him. Is he Dynamax in here? He could be. He could be Dynamax. He's not Dynamaxing, but he could be going for a follow me. Let's see what happens. Yeah, he goes follow me. I'm gonna be able to swap next turn. Moonblast comes through. We'll black that one up. But this thing's going to be able to eat up an Apple Acid. We're going to have to swap and maybe Dynamax the, the Vickable here. I think Vickable is going to be a nice little mod. Especially up against this Pre Marina. We're going to swap into this Assault Vest Boy. And then go into a, uh, another Apple Acid. Try to throw it on this Pre Marina. Try to throw it on the Pre Marina. Yeah. Vickable, get out there, dog. Get out there, dog. Gonna go another follow me. He's just gonna go the same thing, rinse repeat. Uh, I have to Dynamax my uh, Big Bolt next turn. Here's the Moonblast. Eat this up, my dude. They're like, yeah, yummy, dude. That was yummy. Actually, that did a heap of them out. This thing's this light orb. Apple Acid flies through. Do, do a little bit of damage. Um, I think I have to D Max to take out this Pre Marina. I think this Pre Marina has to go if we're gonna do anything here. Or at least take out the. The Togekiss. 
double into it, right? Yeah, just double into the pre marina side. If we take out the toad kiss, the apple acid should be able to do some work on the pre marina later. Then I could go into another protect with my crawl on and be able to get the apple acid off. Well, here we go. We have to eat up. That's a fact. That's a fact. I think he's going to go for follow me again. I think that's a fact. But uh, hopefully, my pickable, my pickable should be able to go before that, uh, before the boy, the apple boy, so we can get the apple acid rolling on the on the left side. Let's see what happens here. Yep, follow me comes out here. I should be able to eat, the, eat up this moon bus, hands down. Let's see, let's see what he's going for. Let's go for a moon bus. We should be able to eat this up unless he crits. Nope, we eat it up. Nice little Dynamax from us. Max Lightning should come out now. Take out the Toad Kiss and the Apple Acid should slide across. Let's get it. Bye bye, Toad Kiss. Come on, Apple Acid. Appleton, come up clutch here. Do some work on this Pre Marina. We get a crit! I think we were taken out regardless. I think we were taken out regardless. We get the Electric Terrain as well. Tight, nice. That's tight, nice. And we still have our berry from the Recycle. This is huge on my Apple Boy. Apple Acid comes out. Take him out. Do some work. Let's not take him out, but still does some nice damage. That's some wonderful damage here. And drop your special defense as well. Let's go, boy. Let's go, Apple Boy. Who's this final mod? It's a Dust Clops. Okay. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. He's going to exert some pressure. We should have to double into this Pre-Marina. Yeah, just double into the Pre-Marina. Get him. Get it. <laughs> if he doesn't go for an ally switch, then we should be chilling here. Who's he? Is he Dynamax in the Clops? Is he Dynamax in the Clops? I'm gonna lose it if he is. Okay, he's not. I was gonna say, I never seen a Dynamax Dust Cloud. But here goes Primarina. Um, Primarina is scary. I have to get this thing out of the way. He's gotta go. Gotta get him out of here. Go for an ally switch. He does not go for an ally switch. He goes for a Starfall. So, and he's gonna go after my Appleton. So, takes out my Appleton. I'm totally fine with it. If I could just take out this Primarina here, actually, my Vickable should be faster than the Clops. And that does collapse. So we should be able to take out the Pre Marina here. And then just have my crawl out roll in here and start crab hammering out for the victory. Right? Yeah, let's go. Max Lightning coming in here. Gonna take out this Pre Marina in that electric train as well. Big damage. Comes down to a 2v1 with my big boy crawl out in the back. Let's go. Looking good. Looking good. Not bad, but I was just like, dude, I have to get this Pre Marina out of the way. It runs my crawl on my and my apple tongue. Bye bye, Pre Marina. Nice shade pops through. We do survive, so we're gonna be able to get off an extra hit here. And then my boy crawled on. I say I just go for a knockoff. Knock off the Evo light and just be able to just end this game. And he didn't even go for a trick room, so we got someone in the bag. No, I'm just going for a lightning. I think my crawl on goes first. So I think knockoff comes out here. Takes off the Evo light. He protects you. Come on. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. You lost. You lost. You had Dust Cops in your final spot. Like, you deserve to lose if you're doing that. That's the stuff you're pulling. You deserve to lose. We get a crit on that, too. <laughs> Knock off pops. Lock by the protect. And we have the speed advantage as well, so. Easy. Easy wins. Easy wins, baby. Look at my boy crawling out. Look at my boy. Another Thunderbolt and a knockoff to take off that Evo Light. And it is super effective stab damage as well. We might be able to take out the Dust Cops with just the... The what's it called? It's just a knockoff. Let's see it. Let's see it. Do him dirty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Look how hard this dude hits. Absolutely dominated. Let's go. GG. 2 and 1 with this team. And we knocked off that Evo Light. That was my plan, but Crawlon's just hitting like an absolute truck. Let's get it, guys. That Crawlon right here might be the hardest hitting Pokemon I've ever used. He hits so hard with that times 2 stab damage because of his ability and that Life Orb as well. Guys, here's one last look at the Trick Room team. If you guys want to use it for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Run the code is at the bottom of the screen. I really did like this Trick Room team. Just something about it. I like the Pickable and the Crawler and the Appleton and having that Belly Drum option as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.